What's up, YouTube? So you guys seem to enjoy the macros video that I did uh, using the Cubase macros to do that like arrangement trick. And a couple of you guys asked me to show you uh, how I did the random mutes macro, which I kind of alluded to in that video. Um, so there was a couple of difficulties with the random mutes thing because you can't just, as far as I know, within the logical editors, you can't apply mute functions. But you can string a couple of the things together along with hotkeys to be able to randomize mutes within a MIDI clip. So anyway, let's dive in and have a look. So why is this thing that I'm talking about particularly powerful? Well, when you combine it with a hotkey, you can take something like a lead like this, which is particularly boring. I mean, the patch is cool, uh, but the rhythm is boring and you can just randomly generate rhythms, you know, as much as you want until your heart's content and yeah, come up with some really cool stuff by just randomizing it. And in combination, randomizing velocities and all sorts of things, you can do some really interesting stuff. So anyway, this is what I'm talking about. This is the lead just before we're going to go into some randomization and stuff. <laughs> So like I said, I've uh, um, assigned a hotkey. I'm actually working on, um, I'm not sure if I told you guys about my little oopsie where I spilled coffee onto my nice mechanical keyboard. So I've rendered that thing pretty much useless because just the space bar doesn't work. And that's like the most vital key on the keyboard. However, I'm putting together like a keyboard of just macros, which I'm gonna use for stuff like randomizing velocity, randomizing mutes, populating MIDI clips with 16th notes and all sorts of things like this, which I think are just gonna like increase my my workflow being able to press one button to do something that I would usually do with like 10 20 presses of a button on my regular keyboard so I'm gonna have another keyboard over here with just macros um, and the cool thing about this particular one uh, as far as I'm aware um, it actually comes with some software which allows me to create some custom macros to do some funky things but um, I'm still gonna work all of that stuff out um, anyway check this out I'm just gonna press one button here over and over again until we come up with some cool rhythms so I'm gonna play this while we do this <laughs> Cool, I like that rhythm, that sounded good. So, how does it work? Let me talk you guys through the process. If you're not familiar with how the macro system works, I definitely suggest you go back and watch my last video on it where I showed you the big arrangement macro thing. You may not be wanting to do an entire big arrangement macro thing, but there's probably some cool stuff in that video that you probably wanna know about. So anyway, if we go over to the key commands, let's just pop open this random mute macro that I've got over here and let's have a look at the processes that's happening. So essentially what I'm doing is selecting all of the data within the clip and then unmuting it so that we can randomize the mute. Um, so you might not understand why we're unmuting it first, but you'll understand like once we get through the entire process. The idea here is an edit, select all, edit, unmute events. And then I've got two logical presets over here. And this is the core of this entire system. Um, and what these are doing, let me show you, I've called this one trigger random value three, and then select value below 60. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna mute the selected events. So for those who might have a little bit more of a logical brain than others, you're probably already uh, catching on to what's happening here. So let me just go in and uh, just undo a bunch until I've got this full MIDI clip without the mutes, cool. Let's jump into the logical presets and have a look at how, the, um, how I've actually set up this logical editor. Random value three. Value three seems to be like a dummy value. It doesn't, it doesn't seem to uh, control the pitch or the velocity or anything within the MIDI. So I figured this is a nice way of being able to randomize data, assign it to a specific note, and then in a different logical editor preset, figure out 
what data, you know, whether that number is a specific number and do a specific thing. So how this works is essentially this first step, all it's doing is it's setting a random value between 0 and 127 on each note's value 3 parameter. The second step then says select any of the data which is value 3 is less than 60. So this is about 50% of the data gets selected and then it's as simple as I mean if we click apply here nothing because we haven't uh, we haven't assigned any values to these so let's just jump back to random value 3 hit apply and then we go to select value between 60 apply and you see it's selected just notes randomly that we've applied those values to are you guys following this? It's a little bit tricky, but this sequence of logical editor presets actually just changed the game for me because this means we can randomize like anything within the project. We can randomize to select things. We can randomize to do any single function we want. We can change the size of these clips. Or what we can do is now we can just say, okay, we've selected these. Let's do something like mute them. You know, it's as simple as that. So let's just jump back to this key, uh, the macros editor over here and have a look at exactly what's happening. Again, we're selecting all the events, unmuting the events, trigger random value three, select value below 60 and mute those events. So the reason I selected all and unmuted the events in the first place is so that we can spam it and do it over and over again because without that it just keeps stacking up the mutes and eventually you end up with all all of the midi notes muted if that makes sense so i've set up another macro here i'm not going to go into this because it's a little bit uh, complex and those who understand exactly what i've done in the previous step you will be able uh, to do this so i've set up two steps here random c phrygian lead what this does random value three some of those notes it pitch shifts to plus one some of them it pitch shifts to minus two and some of them it leaves at the root note and then i've done the exact same process except instead of plus one and minus two it's plus 12 or plus 24. so combination of these two essentially creates a random acid lead check this out i've called it random octaving c phrygian lead so let's go and apply this macro. I haven't actually set this as a hotkey yet. Um, so let's just go macros, random octaving C fridge and lead. Check this out. Uh, let me see if I can find a sound that's a little bit more acidy. Okay, so let's combine this with the random mutes and random velocities, which would do the accents in something like a 303 emulation. Let's try this out. Oh, so random velocities, that's a very simple logical preset uh, that you guys can uh, slap together, I'm sure.
Oh gosh, you guys know I could just sit and jam 303 sounds for days. <laughs> anyway, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know what you think in the comments. As always, if you want more of this macros kind of uh, logical presets type of stuff, then let me know in the comments as well. And yeah, hit that like button. And if you haven't yet, consider subscribing. See you guys next time. Cheers.